Okay, so here we have a new <coughs> conservation of energy problem. So let's draw the picture first. We've got a roller coaster. And we've got 20 meters here. And we've got 12 meters here. And the roller coaster is up here. And initially, it's at the top of the hill, and it's got a velocity. Now, let's denote these points. The, let's say that this is point A, and that is point B. OK? So VA, we're going to give a velocity of 2 meters per second. And at this point, when the roller coaster reaches here, it's going to have a velocity of VB. We don't know what that is. That's what we need to find. We need to find uh, VB. Okay, what is that velocity? The way we're going to do this is we're going to solve this with the conservation of energy. Initial energy is equal to final energy. So, we have to ask ourselves something. How many different types of energy does the roller coaster have at this point? At this point, it's got two types of energy. Okay? It's got gravitational potential energy. Why? Because it's 20 meters off the ground. And it's got kinetic energy. Why? Because it's moving. Okay. Second of all, over here, what type of energy does it have? Now, by the way, this is, let's say, initial, initial. And over here at the 12 meter height, uh, it's got both. It also has gravitational potential energy, and it does have kinetic energy. OK, but this is final and final. Now, we need to plug in our values. We know that gravitational potential energy is equal to mgh, and we know that kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. Now, you'll notice in this question, we do not know what m is. That should be a hint. Do we really need m? Let's find out from the math. Let's go ahead and get the initial gravitational potential energy. So that's mg times original height of 20 meters. Add to that the kinetic energy of 1 half. Now, what's the velocity at that point? 2 meters per second squared. And that's all going to equal the final GPE, which is mg times 12 meters plus 1 half m. Now, this is where our answer comes in. So really, it doesn't really make sense to write a bracket there. So I'm just going to erase that. Uh, instead of a bracket, we're just going to put vb squared. And that's what we're trying to solve for. OK? So how are we going to solve for that? Hmm. The first thing we can do to make things a little bit easier for ourselves is to say, hey, look at all these m's. Cancel, 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 cancel. Woohoo! They're gone. Now what we can try and do is solve for vb. So let's go ahead and do that by taking this term and putting it on the left-hand side. And when we do that, we're going to have, and, and one thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually going to not write the units any longer. So I'm just going to change that to a 20g. And that's going to be a minus 12g. And then I'm going to have plus 1 half times 2 squared. And then, if you'll notice here on this side, I have 
this guy is multiplied by one half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to automatically multiply everything by two. So basically, I can just go like this. And now, I can say that's VB squared. OK? Now let's do a little bit more simplification. Uh, let's say that this is 40 and that's 24. OK? Uh, another way of doing that, obviously, would be to get uh, 16, right? Because 20 minus 12 would be 8 times 2 is 16. So that's going to give us 16g. And 2 times that, well, that cancels the 1 half. And that's plus 4, 2 squared. And then we can substitute for g, which is 9.8, pretty close to 10. But let's do 9.8 just to be exact. So let's go 16, enter 9.8 times 4 plus. That gives us 160.8. So that's got it all equal VB squared. Therefore, the square root of 160.8 is VB, which is 12.6. Uh, well, actually, 12.7, to be precise. There you go. And so that's our final answer, 12.7. Meters per second at that location right there. Hope you like that problem. There's the end of the solution. See you next time.